Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking about direction of voyage. I'm going to be showing you the importance of knowing direction of voyage, especially when it comes to lateral marks and how it will show you on which side of the buoy it is safe to pass. So when we're talking about direction of voyage, let's understand the importance. If we take this example vessel, and she's approaching a starboard lateral mark. Of course, if she's following the direction of voyage, she needs to leave that buoy on her starboard side. If you didn't know about direction of voyage, however, all of these vessels would also be leaving that buoy on their starboard side. There's no indication as to where the safe water actually is. On this diagram, we can see the large underwater hazard bordered by starboard lateral marks. Now when we know when that, where the hazard is, it's obvious on what side of the buoy we need to pass. But if we're just sailing along and all we can see is that buoy, we need to know direction of buoyage to know on which side we need to leave the buoy. On a chart, direction of buoyage would be given by this symbol. Sometimes it's coloured in like this, indicating green to starboard, red to port. And what direction of buoyage means is that if you're travelling in this direction following the arrow, you are following the direction of buoyage. In our example, the vessel needs to leave the starboard marks on her starboard side when following the direction of voyage. Conversely, if she's running against the direction of voyage, she would need to leave those marks on her port side. Now as we've said, direction of voyage on a chart is indicated by these two symbols. But there are also other ways to tell. If we look at it on a world scale, direction of voyage runs clockwise around continental land masses. I've illustrated here around the North and South American continents the way that direction of voyage actually runs. You need to bear in mind however that in places where there's a gap or an island direction of voyage may not be immediately obvious. For example in Europe direction of voyage would run clockwise around the continent but around the United Kingdom it may not be running clockwise all the way round, so there may be places where it appears direction of voyage is going the wrong way. You'd always need to check the chart to be certain exactly which way it's running. Another way to tell is direction of voyage will run into ports. We can see this vessel approaching Venice. She knows she's going in, so she's going to be following the direction of voyage. She'll leave the starboard marks on the starboard side and the port marks on the port side. Of course, in this particular case, it's quite obvious because you're just staying between the marks. But you may get an instance where there's only a green mark or only a red mark. Another way to tell, again looking at Venice, we can look at the buoy down here. And this is a safe water mark, or a fairway buoy. And we know direction of voyage will run from the fairway buoy. This will be particularly helpful if you're going up for oral exams and sometimes the examiner might just put a safe water mark down and expect you to know the direction of voyage runs from this mark. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you found the information useful. If you have, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And to stay up to date with all my latest videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.